So as I'm trying to only um, eat what we harvest, um, grow, uh, hunt, gather uh, for the 2024 year, just to uh, test my skills. <laughs> um, this is kind of sad because um, Amanda started me these wonderful, beautiful onion starts. And these here on this end, I believe are called uh, Sierra Grandes, if I'm not mistaken. She's really good at marking them for me so I can see what really works. Oh, Sierra Blanca. Sierra Blanca, and she started these uh, from seed, um, actual seeds, not from uh, bulbs, but actual seeds. And uh, so these are started Sierra Blanca. Uh, October 20th but I hadn't been able to get to her in a while and so they've been in like six inch um, not six inch six packs and so this first uh, six here Sierra Blancas goes all the way down to uh, the two on the end are just some miscellaneous ones that she's testing uh, to, called uh, Texas Grand um, so I'll be able to uh, tell if I like these onion types for my area um, the big thing is there's only 12 onions in this line and literally I like will eat a bulb, an onion bulb, a medium sized onion bulb every time I have a hamburger patty because I try not to eat the buns. Um, uh, Dan is the bun guy <laughs> um, and I'm trying to do uh, a low carbohydrate diet. And uh, so this is literally just 12 days or 12 meals, I should say, 12 meals if I don't use it for anything else but to throw on the grill. Now I know I'm really late on these. This is December 31st. Um, but these are Georgia collards that Amanda started for me again. Um, and uh, got me a roll of those. I'm putting them in pretty close together. Uh, one reason is, is because I pick the big leaves frequently. I do not plan on them ever getting too carried away in this row. I want them to be nice and lush and um, really close together to uh, kind of like sh not shade each other right now, but protect each other. Um, and I'm going to be putting over this, this is within a uh, like a, a greenhouse uh, frame. I'm going to be uh, protecting these from uh, the cold that is going to be coming here pretty soon. Um, One but... huge, huge reason that we are planting is uh and i really want to uh, focus on really natural hunted gathered foraged foods this year is because i visited a beekeeper in imperial valley where they grow i mean it's just huge commercial farmland just like farms like as far as the eye can see of lettuce and cabbage and it was just gorgeous i mean really it was amazing to see it but then when you talk to the beekeeper you learn things like how the bees are struggling because of all the pesticides and fungicides and how they have to order new bees in all the time from out of the valley because these their bees die off all the time because of all these poisons that are being put into the ground um and one of the huge things was that really like really hit me was that they're even treating onions seven times seven applications of something man-made whether it be fungicide fertilizer um actually i think they said fungicides was the majority of it um seven times they're treating these with these kinds of poisons um an onion in the onion's lifetime before it's picked so from the time it's seeded out to the time it's picked seven times it's getting sprayed with something nasty so um and then you're looking at all these poor people that are out there the migrant workers that are out there picking all of this in these conditions it's just nasty no wonder we have such high cancers and stuff like that and unexplained deaths and um and 50 percent of americans now testing positive with pesticides in their their systems um i think that's really low i mean this was a um, a document that we saw recently in the news, but I think it's way, way higher than that. So my goal this year is to um, eat more natural. Eating natural has always been a goal of mine, but I get to be so busy that I just don't have time for everything. 
Uh, so just really quick what we have here going in. Um, this is all chamomile for um, nice organically grown tea. Uh, we have uh, two Italian parsleys. Um, we have um, an oregano, a sage, and um, <laughs> a chicory uh, in the center. Um, and then we're also not bulb out, right? They might have really difficult, because that's supposed to be the turnip bulb right there, and it's all exposed. It's real lanky. So this may not work at all. I'm going to bury it all the way down. But one of the things that I'm most interested in is actually the green. Um, the greens, like right here, this is kind of broken. I'm going to snip this off. This one here is broken. I'm going to snip this off. And the greens will be not just for me, but hey also for... You want some turnip greens? Yeah, they... Oops, sorry, bud. They actually really love turnip greens. Why don't you share with the missus? So for my birds, um, the chickens love the turnip greens, the pheasants love the turnip greens. Um, so it's actually um, some fodder for the animals. The bees are just starting to wake up this morning. They are working on the rosemary. We don't have much of anything else blooming. So they have some protein supplements sitting out in the garden. They also have half barrels of protein supplement out in the bee yards, but uh, this is just to, so that I have something to watch and know that the bees really have nothing out there. Um, and you know, this is December 31st, they're out foraging, they wanna find something. So we're giving them something to do. So yesterday I sorted my pepper seeds um, and I sorted my tomato seeds just trying to figure out, you know, what it is that I'm missing, if there's anything I want to order or anything like that. And I really have plenty of seeds. <laughs> um, and I did take Amanda, um, the pepper seeds that I want to start besides the ones she already started for me. And I don't have that list on me right now, but I, if you're interested in knowing what seeds that we are starting in her greenhouse, my greenhouse took a dump last year. Um, the high winds wiped it out. So I'm relying on her to do a lot of my starts right now um, until I get another greenhouse going. And the next greenhouse is not going to be one of these chintzy Amazon Chinese-made greenhouses. They're just, they don't work. They're not working. Um, and probably for what I've spent over the last five years in greenhouses um, and the time that I've spent, I probably could have got a nice greenhouse by now lesson learned. <laughs> um, but so right now what I'm doing is sorting through all of my herb seeds today. Uh, and I will tell you a little bit more about them here in just a moment. I've got cleavers, which is really good for um, lymph node drainage. And I've um, got some plantain, which is uh, really good for uh, putting on wounds. So I've got a bunch of stuff in here that I'm going to do a quick sort on. I'll be right back. Okay, so Wow, was that really cool. I just had a blast. Literally writing down all of the different herb seed packages that I have. Um, there's like two or three pages, three pages, three pages full of herb seeds. And this is fun because one of my students gave me for Christmas a little packet of seeds and it's called Strictly Medicinal Seeds Honeybee Lover Seed Collection. And so in here, and I haven't written these down yet on my list, uh, but in here are packets of seeds. Um, and I'm going to keep these all together for now. I love how they're wrapped and then you kind of like can pull them out and have the individual packets in here. This is such a great gift. I'm, you know, it's a gift that keeps on giving. This is so awesome. Um, these seeds were packed for 2024, but you know, I don't care when seeds were packed. I've got a lot of old seeds here that still sprout. Um, it's just something that they have to do for, to be legal seed sales. Um, anyway, so in here they have um, lemon bergamot or bee balm. Uh, True Comfrey, 
hyssop, Greek mullion, um, pleurisy root, scarlet sage, holy basil or tulsi, I love that stuff, and common oregano. So when these all bloom, they are, I guess, a honeybee buffet. So this was awesome. And thank you so much, Jennifer. But this is what I also love. She included the catalog. And so I have the 2023 seed catalog for Strictly Medicinal. If you do not have this, I would request one. This is freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my list that I just made of the seeds that I have. And I'm going to go into my book this evening as I'm getting ready for sleep. I love looking through things, through catalogs and stuff. And so um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and see what uh, the seeds that I would like to um, include in my, um, my herb garden for next year that I don't have. Um, so that was very, very exciting. One of the last things that I want to mention is that I also put together um, some extra seed packets that I have. These are gonna go into my truck because we have a really, really awesome um, program, a nonprofit here in Arizona, where um, it's called um, Little, Little Seed Stands of Arizona, Little Garden Stands. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot what it's called. But, what it is is that you can take a seed and or leave a seed and take a seed leave a plant and take a plant or take a seed packet leave it and take a plant you can put all kinds of containers i mean this place is just like and it's all over the place so if you don't know anything about that look that up um, i'll try to put a link of that below because it is fun i love going there so these are going to go into my truck and when I go to do bee removals at night in spring, I'm going to take these leaf seeds at different stands and then see what they got so that it's like a sharing process because these are all my extra seeds and I don't need these. So I can share with somebody who might need them and I might get something really cool in return. So that's something that I wanted to mention. The last thing I'm going to head out and do real quick is just put some Swiss chard in the ground. I have a, um, a ground cover that retains the heat inside for seed germination that Cheryl gave me to try out and I'm gonna put it to the test. So thank you all for watching King's Titan Homestead. Until next time.